Come on, Zach. Let's check out this milled surface. It's being prepared for an asphalt overlay. Sounds good, but is it ready? I don't see a paver. Oh, it's not quite ready yet. But what we want to do today is we want to check this milled surface and its texture depth. Why do we care? Well, some specifications specify the texture depth of the milled surface so we know we can get a consistent surface. So do I get to use a laser? <laughs> no, not today. There are lasers that can be used, but today we're going to use what's called the sand patch test. So today I want to talk to you about ASTM E965, which is the standard test method to measure a pavement macro texture depth using a volumetric technique, also known as a sand patch test. Sand patch is a lot less of a mouthful. <laughs> that's right, that's right. So what we need for this is we need a sand patch test kit. And you can buy those at an asphalt laboratory supply store, or you can make them yourself. So what's in this kit? Well, several things. First off, a brush so we can clean the surface. Then we have a, st a strike off tool. We have a measuring tape or a ruler. We have a hockey puck. Here's a scoop. And we have a cylinder of a known volume. And this looks like sand. It does look like sand, but it's actually glass beads. And a lot of folks use glass beads because of the consistency of the size and the shape of the material. So uh, what do you say we go find a spot to test? Let's do it. Well, this looks good here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. So the first thing we need to do is we need to clean the site. So I'd like you to use this brush here to clean all the dirt and grit and grime out of the way. No, much bigger area than that. We need about two feet cleaned off. Okay, so now that we've got that clean, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this cylinder here of a known volume so that we can measure our, our sand or glass beads so that we know how much we put on the surface. So what's the number written on the side? Oh, that number is 1.684 inches cubed, and that represents the volume that's in the, this cylinder. So I'll fill the container with the scoop there. I'm going to strike off the top so we know that's the actual volume. Makes sense. And I'm going to pour it on the surface in the middle of that cleaned area. And I want to make a tight cone so that it all kind of sticks together. I can tell this is a pretty aggressively milled surface. So we're going to want more sand than what I know we have here. I'm going to use two volumes worth of this material. So we need to remember that in the calculations. For sure. So next, we're going to use this hockey puck here to spread out the sand using a circular motion. He shoots, he scores! <laughs> okay, Wayne Gretzky, okay. So you can see that I'm using a circular motion here and I'm going kind of slow because we don't want to throw the material. We want to have a relatively tight circle. So now that I've spread out that material and we filled all the voids, the next step is that we need to make measurements. Uh, the specification says that we need to measure in four equal spots. So uh, you've got the tape measure. I've got a pen and some paper. What measurements do you get? So my first measurement is nine inches and three quarters of an inch. Okay. My second measurement is also nine and three quarters. Okay. My third comes out to nine and an eighth. Okay. And my fourth measurement comes out to nine and a half. 9.5. That sounds good, that sounds good. So uh, what do you say we head back to the truck and get the calculations done? That sounds good to me. Okay, so now for the calculations. The average mean texture depth formula is four times the volume divided by pi times the diameter squared. Okay, so I need the average diameter mm -hmm. and the volume. Mm -hmm. So here's the numbers that I wrote down from the measurements, and you can start the calculations. Okay, so 
I get an average diameter of 9.53 inches. Sounds about right. A volume of 3.368 inches cubed because we doubled it. Ah, oh, I'm glad you remembered that. And then when I plug that into the equation, if I use four times 9.53 inches mm -hmm. divided by 3.14159. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, that's enough digits of pi. 3.14 is probably enough. Okay, well, 3.14 times 9.53 squared, mm -hmm. I get 0 0.047 inches if I follow the units. Ah, I'm glad you followed the units. Because following the units is a double check on our calculations. Excellent, excellent. So the specification that we're following today says that we need to check four sites along the project. So you want to go find some more spots? Let's do it. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you found something interesting. Don't forget, click that subscribe button down there, probably the like button too, and come back to see more training in your pocket.